Tonight, city leaders are addressing concerns that some Spokane firefighting equipment may be dangerous to use. This after firefighters reported an issue with an air canister during a test in November. KXY 4's Ariana Lake working for you to explain how the city council and fire department leaders are keeping crews safe. Officials with the fire department are promising tonight that they will complete effective and efficient testing to make sure all of the equipment is safe to use. In the meantime, the city has promised to take another look at a recent funding request by the fire department to address some safety concerns with their recent equipment. Some of the equipment designed to keep Spokane firefighters safe could be threatening their health. There were personnel who were checking their air packs and they uh, indicated that they smelled an unusual odor. Spokane Fire Department Deputy Chief of Operations Mark John said the firefighters immediately reported the incident. Obviously the safety of our personnel was paramount so we took steps to immediately remove all of that equipment from service. Fire departments from around Washington and Idaho lent equipment to Spokane firefighters to use while testing continues. We have identified some material, but we honestly don't know exactly what it is or how it got there. Now the Washington State Department of Labor and Industries is investigating the incident to determine what the contaminants are and how widespread the issue is. And that's what matters to us is that we before returning our packs into service, we've done all the testing and we can say without a doubt, I can tell the membership we've been thorough, we did XYZ and it's safe and you can use the air. It's still too early to know what may have caused the contamination, but Councilwoman Lori Kinnear, who chairs the Public Safety and Community Health Committee, promises to take proactive steps to support the fire department. A nearly $200,000 expenditure request previously denied. We didn't have all the information right away. Will be reconsidered Monday and will likely be approved to replace two of the Spokane Fire Department compressors. Council is fully supportive of our firefighters and um, we're going to ensure that we're communicating a little better in the future. So what's next? Well, the committee will reevaluate that request on Monday morning and then that review will go to the full city council for their evening meeting, which starts at 6 p.m. They do expect to pass that. Reporting live in downtown Spokane, Ariana Lake, KXLY 4 News. Ariana, thank you.